Hey guys, I honestly don't remember if I promised no more CV19 related content on my channel or not. I, I really don't remember. Um, I'm exhausted, horribly sleep deprived, suffer from raging insomnia, uh, and my brain is fried. I have two full-time jobs and they are both considered essential. Now I realize that I am very lucky and I thank God that I got to keep my jobs. I know a lot of people out there didn't. So I'm not complaining about that. I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys. I don't remember if I promised no more CV-19 related content or not. Uh, this video is going to be CV-19 related. See, here's the thing. When I say I care about you guys, I genuinely mean it. I do. So if I get some information that could realistically affect the health and safety of my subscribers, I'm going to make you guys aware of it. There are some content creators who will be like, hmm, I could make a video about that, but it's not going to get a ton of views compared to making a video about something else that's a lot more entertaining. I'm not like that. Let's face it, guys, I can see the view count that my videos get. And honestly, if I gave a damn about views, I probably would have stopped uploading several months ago. This channel is active. It's going to stay active. I really don't care how many views each of my video gets, with one exception my CV19 directory video with all of the links in the description box below. That one I do care about. When it comes to views, I wish it had a lot more views. Seriously, guys, there's some fantastic information in there about staying safe, especially the links in the description box of that video. Please absolutely share that video with as many people as you know, as many people as you care about. The information in the video, in the links, could prevent people from getting infected. I want all of you to stay safe. I care about you guys. If I didn't, I wouldn't have made that video and I wouldn't be making this video either. What you guys are looking at is the protective mask that I normally wear at my security job. This is a KN95 mask. Yes, it is made in China. This is the Chinese version of our American N95 mask made by 3M. Now, this mask offers the same level of protection that an N95 mask from 3M offers. And I'm sure there's other companies besides 3M making N95 masks. So same level of protection. Only difference is that this material is a bit softer. But in terms of filter material, very same level of protection. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this mask. Is there anything missing? If you set a filter or, well, no, not a filter. Sorry, once again, sleep deprived. Uh, if you said a respiratory or exhalation valve, you're right. That's missing from this mask, with good reason. 
Here's a couple of masks I ordered off of Etsy. These are DIY homemade masks um, made by what I'm assuming is a professional seamstress or a woman talented enough to have the same level of skills as a professional seamstress. You can get masks like this from a number of different sellers on Etsy and none of these have valves either. So why is not having a valve important? All right, well, for those of you who are subscribed to my ASMR channel, you've seen this mask before. It was one of the items shown in my second to last upload on my ASMR channel. This is a commercially made mask um, its full name is Sport Mask with Exhalation Valves. Yes, two of them, one on either side. Let's see what else it says on the packaging. Activated Carbon Dust Mask, standard size, stretchy and adjustable. I believe this one is also made in China by a company named Rock Bros. That's R-O-C-K-B-R-O-S. I don't recommend this mask for a number of reasons. Yes, it does have good ear loops. It does have Velcro panel here for a more secure fit around your head. It does come with filter material. Now on camera, the size of that material seems good. It's actually not. It's actually not nearly as wide as it looks on camera. It's quite short in terms of width. I guess that's narrow. Yeah, my brain's fried. Anyway, um, I don't recommend this mask for a couple of reasons. Filter material, not nearly wide enough. Most of the rest of the material is ridiculously see-through, as you can see. Ridiculously see-through, where there is no filter material. But here's the big reason I don't recommend it. It actually has valves, one side and the other. Some masks only have them on one side. Even one side, I would recommend avoiding masks with valves. Now, yes, 3M makes N95 masks with valves. The thing is, with a valve, there is a possibility that if it's not attached properly, there could be a very slight gap anywhere all around that you could easily miss. A very slight valve that's going to be the size of the Grand Canyon for a virus to get through. That's one issue. Second issue, a mask like this, commercially made, is advertised as being washable, reusable, and it is. You have to take the filter material out first, and you can wash this by hand, and then hang it up to dry problem is, when I got this, yeah, here's the packaging. It tells you on the back that you can wash it, but it doesn't go into detail. So you know what's going to happen? You're going to have individuals buying masks which are washable, reusable, with valves on them, and they're going to toss it into the laundry machine or the washing machine. Guess what's going to happen when it's tumbling around in there? That's right. Even if the valve did not have a very slight hole anywhere around the circumference, once you take it out of the washing machine, whether or not you toss it in the dryer or hang it up to dry, air dry, being in the washing machine 
could have caused a very tiny hole to develop. Again, the size of the Grand Canyon for a virus to get through. That's why guys avoid masks with valves. Seriously, they don't help in being able to breathe through a mask easier. They don't. Believe me, I have firsthand experience with that. So guys, please avoid masks with valves. Stay safe. I care about you.